Hey everyone, welcome to TechFine Ideas. To resolve this error, here's what you need to do. First, you should open the test manager or system tree and completely shut down the platform where GTA 5 is installed. In my case, that's Steam. So, I just need to head over to Steam and close all the tasks related to it, as you can see in my task manager. Alright, let's close all the tasks here. Next, we just need to wait until that's done, and also make sure to close Rockstar Games if there are any tasks running. After that, the first thing you need to do is open Rockstar Games. So go ahead and launch it, and make sure to sign in before you open Steam or Epic Games. Your Rockstar Games account should be signed in. Once Rockstar Games is up and running, then launch Steam. Click on Steam to start it, and then launch GTA 5 to see if the issue persists. If that doesn't work, then completely close Steam and ensure Rockstar Games is not running in your task manager. After that, open up File Explorer. You just need to go to Documents and find the Rockstar Games folder, then rename it to something like X or whatever you prefer. After renaming, launch the game again and check if the problem continues. I recommend not deleting the folder because it contains your profiles and saves. If you want to keep your story mode progress, just rename it instead of deleting it. If that still doesn't solve the issue, open your browser and go to 1.1.1.1 to download Cloudflare VPN for your PC. It's completely free. Once you have it, open Cloudflare, and it should appear in your system tray. Make sure to connect it, and connect one by one not just 1.1.1.1 with warp, then launch the game again to see if the problem persists. Lastly, I suggest visiting rockstargames.com and signing into your account. After signing in, click on your profile icon and select log out. Once you're logged out, you can close this window. Then, type cmd, making sure to run it as an admin. Next, in the command prompt. You just need to enter IP protocol configuration slash flushtons. After that, open your Rockstar Game Launcher, then launch Steam or Epic Games, depending on where you purchase the game. Start GTA 5, and it should work.